All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are going to break down the Lions' 2024 schedule. Uh, I'll give you my early win-loss prediction for them. Again, I apologize for the camera issues. Um, I don't know what was going on there, but hopefully we don't have to deal with that for the remainder of the show. But, yeah, I mean, that's been a common occurrence on the show. I feel like lately it's been better, but... Once in a while, the camera flares up, and, you know, just got to deal with it. But at least I have my backup camera on my laptop, so whenever that does happen, then I just switch over to that, so. All right, but let's get into the second topic of the show, talk about the Detroit Lions. Last year was solid for them, made it all the way to the NFC Championship game, unfortunately lost to... 49ers but they're looking to uh, go further and maybe make it to a Super Bowl themselves so I know we just talked about them the Rams they will be taking on the Rams Sunday night week one Matthew Stafford once again returning to Detroit that was one of the best playoff games from last year was when these two teams met it was a one-point game Lions squeaked by and I'm going to be honest, I I actually am going to take the Rams to upset the Lions. I, I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, they're, going to, they're going to get their revenge for the playoff loss from last year. I don't know. Just take a l- little bit of a risk there. But, again, things could change. But I'm actually going to give the, like I said, I'm going to give the Lions the loss there. Then they take on the Bucks, another team that they faced in the playoffs in the next round, in the divisional round, and that was a good game as well. I think the Lions get back on track here. They win that game. So they even their record at 1-1. One and one. At the Cardinals, Cardinals could be inter- an interesting team because I, like, I don't know what to expect out of them. Because, I mean, they got a healthy Kyler Murray, and I think with him... Back in the fold for a full season. I think the Cardinals are going to be a more competitive team. So I don't really know. I don't don't know what to expect out of them. But I I, I do expect them to be more competitive. But I think still you're looking at them being like a third or fourth place team in their division. I like the Rams and the Niners better. They could be battling it out with Seattle. For, for, you know, third place in the division. But... I think the Lions are the better team, so I would give them the win there. Now they take on Seattle the following week at home. And these last couple of years, when these two teams have played against each other, I mean, it's been shootouts both times. Last year, the game went into overtime, and Tyler Lockett scored the game-winning touchdown. Whenever these two teams play against each other, it's a lot of fun. But the Lions have been on the losing end both times. So I'm going to say... Not this time. They they are going to win this game. So I'm going to give them a win. Then they take on... Well, week five they have a bye. So that's why week five is not there. Week six, they take on the Cowboys in Dallas. Now, this is an interesting game because if you remember from last year, there was that whole situation on the two-point conversion late in the game when... The Lions got the two-point conversion and went up by one, but the referee said that the tackle did not report eligible when you could see that he went over to the ref. But it was just very, it was very confusing. Or they, I forget, I, I forget the specifically what it was, but I don't know if it's they thought it was another player that reported eligible instead. I don't know. It just happened. I mean, this happened in what, December? It just, it was, uh, Interesting situation, but yeah, the Lions should have won the game. They ended up losing by a point. I think this time they beat the Cowboys. And I I, I, I just think for me, the Lions are the better team. So I think they get revenge for that. Then in Week 7, they take on the Vikings. Curious to see how the Vikings quarterback situation is. If J.J. McCarthy is starting from week one, or are they going to ease him into it? How how is the quarterback play going to be at this point? 
But again, I, I still think the Lions, to me, are the better team. I'm going to say the Lions win this one. So right now, the Lions only have one loss. They take on the Titans at home. Again, I think the Lions are the better team. So I, uh, I'm going to take the uh, Lions to win that. Now, I think they'll split with Green Bay. Um, so I'll give them a loss in Lambeau. And then I'll also give them a loss to the Texans. So now that gives them about, about, that gives them three losses. Jacksonville, I think they win that. I think the Col Colts game could be interesting. Um, but I see them winning that as well. I think they also will split with the Bears too. So that'll give them four losses. And then I think they'll lose to the 40. Uh, well, actually, I was going to pick them to actually get revenge on the 49ers. Sorry, camera's acting up again. I just want to fix that. Yeah, it's just, I don't know what, I really don't understand what is going on with it today. Just, it, it, it's just between that and the, uh, my cold here that I'm experiencing. Gotta try to figure it out here, but I just, I, I don't get it. I know now I'm even smaller on the, uh. On the one-person graphic here. And you're probably thinking, well, maybe you should invest in a new camera. Now, I think the... Oh, wow. That just... Yep, then we got more Spider-Verse stuff. This is... I mean, this is crazy. I've, ne I've never had it be this bad. Because I have, like... I have this adapter that I use that I plug in... I plug in the camera and my ring light into the same thing. And usually, okay, that just, that did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on today. Again, I apologize, folks. This is just, it's not, not my, not my day today with the, with the issues we got going on a cam with the, with the camera, but. You know, at least, I mean, the good thing is we still got audio. You know, so I'm not really, I'm not really complaining. Uh, audio is, is is the biggest thing. <laughs> so okay, that just did not want to do anything. But so I, I basically I have the lines around. I got them around. Uh, so wait, I would say 12, 13 wins. That's what I would say. I actually, because I actually was going to pick them to upset the 49ers. Kind of get their revenge for the NFC Championship game loss. I feel like they're on that, that redemption arc where they're just going to beat the teams that they... Lost to, well, some of the better teams that they lost to last year. So, but that that's just, I mean, that's my opinion, you know, so I, I, but, okay, all right, I, I think we should be, should be good. Yeah, again, I, I, I don't know what's going on, but, yeah, so I, I got them at around 12, 13 wins, maybe a top two seed maybe the one seed who knows um but yeah i think they're top three team in the nfc um i expect listen i expect them to be really good so but let me know what you guys think how many games do you think the lions will win in 2024 so before we go to break just want to remind you guys once again Tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. 
Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, when we come back from our second break of the show, we will discuss Lamar Jackson and... I don't know why... Okay. We will discuss Lamar Jackson and... Some of his comments that he made regarding the week one matchup with the Kansas City Chiefs. So we will get into that when we come back from our second break of the show. So with that being said, stick around and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 